All right, guys, last week we looked at the very first principle that we think every man should know, and that is that men are called to be fierce. And this week we're going to look at principle number two, and it's this. Men are fueled by dependency. Now, there's more to real manhood than being fierce. See, fierceness by itself is dangerous. It can lead to men who are reckless, impulsive, and even cruel. So as men of God, we must recognize our dependency on others. Now, we have three types of dependency. Here's the first one. We're dependent upon God himself. We talked a little bit about this last week. We'll talk more about this in the next video. But Psalm 31 says, Love the Lord, all you godly ones, for the Lord protects those who are loyal to him, but he harshly punishes the arrogant. So be strong and courageous, all you who put your trust and hope in the Lord. So look at what he says. He says, Yes, be strong and courageous and fierce. But he says, do it because you're dependent upon God, because you put your hope in the Lord. So we're dependent upon God. Second thing is this, we're dependent upon God's word. Psalm 119, how can a young man keep his way pure? By guarding it according to your word. He's talking to God. He says, with my whole heart, I seek you, God. Let me not wander from your commandments. What a great picture of how we are dependent upon God's word. And this was, a, this was the psalmist who wrote this thousands of years ago and even today. Still, we as men are dependent upon God's word. And the third dependency is this. We're dependent on others. We're dependent on other people. Look at what it says in Isaiah 50. Who among you fears the Lord and obeys his servant? If you are walking in darkness without a ray of light, trust in the Lord and rely on your God. But watch out, you who live in your own light and warm yourselves by your own fires. Listen, he's warning those people. He says, this is the reward you'll receive from me. You will soon fall down in great torment. Here's the reality. Dependency is a fuel that helps men go the distance. If we try to do it on our own, if we try to be isolated, we're going to learn quickly that we will never be able to last. Our, our faith in Christ will, will waver. We'll struggle as husbands. We'll struggle at work. We need each other. We're not an army of independent men. So men, let's humble ourselves. Let's learn the power of the word submission. Submission to God, submission to God's word, and submission to other believers. Now, why don't you hit pause for a minute and talk about it?